Hey guys, it occurred to me a few weeks ago that I've never actually beaten the Polybridge campaign. I still have to complete the majority of the challenge world, so that's what I wanted to do in this video. So starting out on the level selection screen here, you can see I've already played a few of these levels, and this was because a while ago, I pretty much played all of the easy ones and stopped as soon as it got hard. So I wanted to start out on level 8 here, and this level is quite different than usual. This time, you can see I have this rotating cylinder in the middle, and now we need the car to hit the checkpoint on the bottom and the top. This is actually kind of difficult here, and I started building up a carriage to hold the car. Now that was fine, but I had no way to actually get the car all the way over to the middle in the first place. So my next plan here is to build up a small bridge directly attached to the wheel and just see what that would do. And you can see now I'm building up some trusses here and I connected it up, but this just seemed really weird. Even once I got it fully attached here, it wasn't really that helpful and I knew I was gonna need a way better solution than this. That's when I had the idea of resting the bridge right on the cylinder. But putting the roads right around you here, they should sit on it and I just need some way to keep it from rotating with the cylinder. Now with all that in place here, you can see I'm starting to truss it up, and once I did that here, you can see I got it to stop rotating, I'm actually putting out a rope and attaching it to the very side of the island. This gives a small amount of tension and allows it to just sit on that wheel and be perfectly fine. Now this is good, but I still need to get the checkpoint on the bottom, and in order to do that, I put down some roads here. This will allow the car to fall down there, and I'll just need to get it back up to get the top checkpoint. So after supporting that up here, it does seem to go down there fine, and next I put down a road right in front of the exit. That rests on the wheel, and you can see as the car comes down, it hits into that and ends up stopping. Then it gets stuck, and I have this little carriage come by that picks up the car. This almost worked, but it just got stuck on the bridge. So I moved it in slightly, and you can see now, it goes up to the top here, ends up sliding upside down, but seems to work just fine, and after that, it goes back around and now flies off the end. All I need now is some sort of ramp here, and you can see that's what I'm building now. And once I got that all built up in place, the next thing I wanted to do here was start shaving down the budget a little bit. I don't know if there's a a lot of parts of the bridge that were way over supported and I replaced a lot of them with wood. And after not too much trouble here, you see him giving another test. And this time seems to work fundamentally the same way. It's a little bit more stressed. I see a lot more red, but in the end, car still makes it all the way around and beats the level. Now, next up is level 10 here, and this one's called Bridge in a Box. And that's exactly what I have to make. You'll notice here that these two massive shapes come down on these two sides, and that means I can't build a normal bridge. What I am doing here, though, is trying to build up a bridge inside the box, and this is going to rotate down and hopefully give me most of the length I need. So, starting to support it up here, and you can see now giving it a test, it rotates down on its own here and seems to fill that gap pretty well. Now, I do want a controlled way to make it come down, though, so I'm actually going to use two hydraulics for that. Now, one hydraulic just doesn't make it go far enough, but two of these here, you can see it does fold out right, and with a little bit of tuning, everything seems to be good. Now, I do still have a lot of length to cover here, and in order to do that, I wanted to add some extra road pieces to the end of this bridge. That's when I started running into some issues, though. Every time it folds out, it seems to just break a lot here, and instead, I wanted to try adding some roads to the side islands. Now, normally, this really shouldn't be possible, but I did have an idea of actually using a hydraulic to kind of pull out the support of the bridge and hopefully make everything fit in place. You can see here just how tight against the side I have it, but it's able to fold down here and let the taxi get a little bit of extra distance. Now, the gap that I had left at this point was just about two roads, so I added one extra road to the main roadway here, and now we just needed one more road. Now, I thought about just tacking it onto the end here, but this seemed to be a bit too much weight, and instead what I wanted to do here is actually add that road to the left roadway. Now, putting that in place here wasn't super easy, because the custom shape would clip it and cause it to destroy itself sometimes, but after a while, I did get something that sort of worked, and once I saw that, I copied it over to the other side. And with that, you can see here, Taxi's able to get across and hit its flag. Now, moving on to level 11 here, this one caused me a lot of trouble. The whole idea of this level is that you have to hit all these checkpoints and get to the flag which is over here. This wouldn't be so bad, but you have very few roads to do it, and that's what makes this kind of difficult. Now, starting out here, I made a few ramps to hopefully get some stars, but I ran out so quickly, and I really was getting nowhere. Now, my next thought was actually to use some sort of launch system to pull up the car through every single checkpoint, but to end up getting the car to actually break this properly, I needed to add in a road. This wasn't great, because that meant I needed the road to end up breaking in order for this to work at all, and I kind of wanted to do this on breaking. Now, I was kind of running out of ideas here, so what I actually wanted to do is come back to it later and start on this next level. Now, this level is called Pinball, and you can see it really is kind of a lot. I have two checkpoints at the top, two at the bottom, and I have one in the middle here that you can only access through the spinning wheel. Now, my first thought, of course, was to try to get the two at the top first.
first, and in order to do that, I started by building up this ramp system. The hope was that the ball was gonna be able to slide down this and fling over the other side and get the other star. So I started out by supporting it with some steel here, and after that, I put down another ramp to guide the ball down to the bottom. Now, with all that in place here, I wanted to give it a test, but I did notice it was breaking very often, and in order to stop that, I wanted to use some springs. These should dampen the load a bit, and that did seem to work, and with a little bit of tuning, I did get something that was kind of okay. The issue, though, is that the springs were stealing a lot of energy, and the ball really wasn't close to making it at all. So I actually got rid of the springs, and I added back in the steel. This was just going to require that I needed really precise angles to make sure it would guide down perfectly without breaking anything. And you can see here, I did get it over the edge, but it just missed the star. But with a little bit of tuning, I finally got it to hit that, and next, I wanted to get the star that was inside the spinning wheel. Now, in order to do that, I actually put down some roads here, and you can see I'm supporting it with some steel and also some springs. This time, I don't really care so much if the springs steal a lot of energy, and in fact, I do want them to dampen that impact a lot. And you can see, ball ends up coming down here and rolling right in there, but I did have a problem where once I rotate it back up, the ball would fall out without hitting the checkpoint first. So in order to do that, I wanted to add in this ramp here and hopefully guide the car right into place. That, though, wasn't my only idea, because what I also wanted to do was add in a trap door. This would allow the ball to go in, but not out. And you can see here, I ended up making that with just a single road piece and a cable. And you can see now, ball comes down, ends up going under that road, but getting stuck. After that, it falls down and hits its checkpoint. Now, this system was also pretty good, because as the car came down, it has enough speed, it can actually get under the trap door and fall all the way out. So with that done, I just have the two stars at the bottom to get, and in order to get these, I wanted to build just a simple ramp to guide it all the way down. And once I had that built here, I used some extra steel pieces to hold it all in place, and with that done, I wanted to give it a final test here. So you can see, ball comes all the way down the top, hits those two stars, after that, falls into the wheel, ends up going down, getting stuck by a trap door, hits its checkpoint, after that, comes right out, and you can see now it guides down on this platform that I made, and it's just enough to hit both of the stars, and hits its flag. But that was a pretty advanced level, but this next one was arguably a bit harder. This one, I need to get three taxis across all the way to their checkpoints, and I have no hydraulics to do it. The only way to make this work is going to be by using the spinning wheel on the bottom. Now, I started out here, and I wanted to build a straight line linkage. That will allow me to bring over the taxis in a perfectly ish straight line, and hopefully keep things pretty orderly. Now, with all those segments in place, I ended up linking the top two together, and after that, I need to start supporting it here. Now, to do that, just build up a simple truss system to the top, and with that done, it was time to start working on the wheel. Now, this wheel is actually in a pretty inconvenient spot on the bottom here, and I wanted to transfer that rotation up into the right. So, in order to build this up here, I built up about half a wheel here, and I wanted to link it all together with cables and test it out. Now, this should transfer the rotation, it does start to do that, but I quickly ran into a problem where the cables came loose and then stopped working. So, I had to add in one extra arm to this wheel, and with that done here, I moved it a little bit further over to the right as well, and now I wanted to give it a test. And you can see after linking it to the straight line mechanism, I'm actually able to move it back and forth here, and honestly, I thought this was a pretty good system. Now, I get the cars across here, you can see I added in a roadway here, that was just two roads, and after that, I also added in a second one of these mechanisms. And you can see now, I'm able to pick up the first car and get it to the other side. After that, get the second taxi across, loads on here, it's a little bit further back, but it just manages to hit its star, and with that done, go back again, pick up the last taxi, and this one hits its star, and that beats the level. So I came back to this wall jumping level, and it's because I had a new idea. This time, instead of having the spring mechanism be all the way on the bottom, I actually lift it up a bit, and you can see as I hit the star, I'm able to drop this road. That means that I'm able to have a distinct trigger for when to lift this up, and it means I shouldn't need to break anything in order to get this to actually pull. Now I started building up my springs again here, and once I had those in place, I started supporting them at the top. And you can see already, I'm starting to get some pretty good pulling action out of this, but the car does fall off. But with a little bit of tuning, I did manage to get it on all of those, and you can see it almost hit all the stars in one go. That's not bad, and with just one extra road piece, I'm able to fling it over to the left even farther, and that ends up hitting both of those stars. So with that done, I just need some way to fling it back up again, and in order to do that, I just wanted to do the same mechanism as before. It seemed to work pretty well here, and really seemed pretty easy to support, so once I had everything put in place here, I wanted to give it a test. This time, though, I had a small problem. As soon as the car hit that roadway, it just snapped the springs, and that causes a lot of problems. Now, I first thought here was to end up stopping the car on a roadway with springs, and after that I have a second roadway that pulls up the car and flings it to the top. This sort of seemed to work. You seem able to dampen the load here, and once I had that in place, I added in a second roadway, and this is the one that'll actually be attached to those springs. After reinforcing it though, I tried it out here, and while it did stop, the springs still instantly just snapped again, and that didn't really work. Now I changed up the design a bit, and 
And instead of completely stopping the car right on that last checkpoint, I'm actually going to be stopping it right before it. That means that it'll have a little bit of time to fall onto it gently, and I figure that that should solve my problem here. And once it pulls up, it ends up going pretty fast. Now, it does run into the road to the top here, but in order to solve that, I just made them really small. And with that done, I also added in some more springs here, and this should allow me to fling up to the top. And this time, you can see I got flung up really far, but all I need now is just to go more over to the left. So in order to do that, I decided another roadway here, and as soon as the car hits this, it should get pushed all the way over there. And you can see here, it's really close to working, but it just doesn't go far enough. So I used a lot of tuning here, and I did eventually get it over, but it had some breaks. So I spent a lot of time budget shaving this, and also trying not to get it to break, but finally here, I did manage to get it to work, and that ends up being level. Now there's one last level in this campaign, and this one is kind of hard. Now starting out here, you can see this dispenser at the top that's going to dispense four balls. These are going to need to go into these four cavities, and in order to do that, I need some way of splitting these up. Now, to even get this level started, what I need to do is add on some roads here, and what these are going to do is as soon as the ball drops down, it should guide it over to the right side, and it'll fall on this first lever. That'll lift up the block in front of the van, and that'll allow it to hit its checkpoint flag and also the star. Now, that's going to allow this pickup truck in the bottom to start going, and that's actually what I wanted to focus on first. So you can see here what I'm doing is actually building up some roads, and building up a really long roadway get all the way over there. And you'll also need a tow truck to get along through this, but I'll figure that out in a little bit. And for now, I just wanted to build up a very simple bridge. And you can see here, I ended up getting that pickup truck across. Now, once I had that, I realized I need a much better way to get these cylinders split up here. And in order to do that, I started out by building up a trap door. This is going to allow one of these cylinders to fall in, but then it creates a smooth surface for the second cylinder to go right over. The issue though is that the cylinder was getting stuck in here and not falling down. By making that angle bigger, it did solve the problem, but it really just created another one right after that because then the platform wasn't smooth anymore and the second cylinder wasn't going to be able to get over it. So I actually replaced the rigid seal with a spring piece and this allows it to stretch a little bit as the cylinder comes through and that should create a smooth surface. So with that at least close to working, the next thing I wanted to do here was create a mechanism to split up the marbles to have two go left and two go right. And I figured a good way to do it was actually use a bi-stable mechanism. Now I built up this U shape of spring and roads and with this it's actually able to have a cylinder roll off to the one side and once it does that it tilts over there as well. This means that the cylinder is going to slightly prefer to go over to the other side, and each time it's going to flip which direction the cylinder falls. Now, this actually allows another cylinder to roll over the trapdoor, but I realized it kind of got stuck on the spring and that it didn't really want to go over anymore. By adding in a couple of ropes, though, that seemed to solve the problem, and with that, I'm able to have the cylinder roll completely over and fall right on the second lever. That allows the tow truck to start going, but now I need to make a bridge that actually lets the tow truck get across. Now, since my trapdoor seemed to work so well on the one side, I actually just copied it over to the other side as well, and after I did that, I wanted to start working on this tow truck. Now, my plan was to build up a few roads here just to go up to the main roadway, and I'm going to have it lift up a little bit, and that'll get it over to its top platform. So, after supporting this up here, I added a hydraulic to the middle, and I wanted to give this a test. The issue, though, was that this really wasn't strong enough, and also I had a lot of geometry issues, and once this actuated, it seemed to instantly just break. So, instead, I added a couple of hydraulics to the other side of the bridge, and these are going to pull up and hopefully lift it into place. And after supporting those up here, it did seem to lift up fine, and it allowed the tow truck to get through. Now, I actually like that I lifted up slightly above the platform here, so I'm gonna need it to go up high enough that I can get an entire cylinder to roll through it. Now, I actually kind of forgot about this car on the left here, and it's pretty simple, but I do need to go up a pretty good distance to get to its flag. So, you see here, I started by building up a simple roadway on the bottom, and after that, I used some hydraulics here, and you're just gonna pull up the roadway and hopefully let the car get to its flag. And once that was done, it actually seemed to work on the first try. Surprisingly, everything fell into place here, and you can see that last cylinder is actually going to roll onto the bridge that I made before, and it's going to just barely manage to fit under the gap that the tow truck went through. I'm actually kind of surprised it fits through there, but he does that, falls in its box, and with that, I ended up beating the challenge world. So guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, I actually might come back and try beating the challenge world's challenge levels. They actually recently dropped in an update, and it was partially the reason why I wanted to do this now. So if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and otherwise, until next time.